Hey everyone, Ray from Pro String again with another, another racket uh, restringing tutorial. Um, today we'll be stringing the older uh, version of the uh, Babolat Pure Aero uh, tennis racket. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this was the 2015 16 version. I will try my best to Google it and uh, add it to the description on the video. So as you've seen, I've started from the top and I've made my way down and looped around because there's only six strings in the middle, uh, in, the, in the throat or neck of the racket, which means we have to always start from the top as to when there's eight, you start from the bottom and work your way up. 16, 19 stringing pattern, guys. The mains are pretty straightforward. Um, now we just need to, because it's eight strings to each side. We've got one to each side already on our mains, the middle strings. Now we just need to add one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the string over, leave yourself a nice little few inches, maybe 10, 15 centimeters, depending on, it will, it will vary by machine, depending how much string you may or may not need. Um, leave yourself a nice little piece to be safe to reach your tension head. Cut yourself a nice sharp angle. So all I've done is run, uh, run my hand or fingers through the string, <clears throat> measuring the side that I measured against the frame. And there you have it, looks pretty good and even. Client uh, has requested the Pro String Nemesis in 125 gauge. Um, they have uh, previously been using RPM Blast. Um, <clears throat> they keep uh, breaking a significant amount of strings. One, one a month maybe, so a decent, a decent player. Don't think he plays all that much. Um, but I have offered um, for him to go for the Nemesis. <clears throat> um, he had a few different options we spoke about, and he just decided that he'd give the, the Pro String Nemesis a go. Um, as you can see, I've done three mains to this side, now three to the other, always stringing it symmetrically, compensating your tension to side to side as to just doing one side and then the other, where you can uh, significantly uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, deform uh, or put out of shape, same thing. <clears throat> the racket, unfortunately. Uh, we have a massive, um, uh, just regarding the approaching Nemesis strings, we have a massive um, conversion rate. A lot of players uh, coming off RPM Blast, even Luxidon Alu Power and, and other brands, other big brands. Uh, where they try the night nemesis and they don't look back. Um, it's a better string in my opinion, Not maybe I'm biased, but I don't, I'm trying not to be. Uh, I use it myself and I genuinely love it. Um, but we have like a 95%, maybe even higher, 95% conversion rate, at least with RPM Blast, um, with players not going back. Uh, we do sell these uh, strings, Pro String Nemesis, um, for a hundred pounds, we retail for a hundred pounds, but then if you're a competition player or somebody that, you know, does break strings frequently and is, will, is uh, looking to change, uh, we do, uh, some discounts. Uh, we have big discounts for players, coaches, stringers, clubs, so on and so on. My fifth main to this side, I don't know if you guys have been counting or following, but six mains now to each side. And then we just finish off with two and two. What on earth is that? I'd rather not know. <clears throat> okay, our last main to this side, guys. Doesn't matter which side you decide to finish with, doesn't matter. I've upped my tension 15%, guys. 15% which is the recommended 15 to 20 in fact uh, I feel that 15 is plenty with uh, with my stringing but maybe at some point I'll decide to to change that I am a man of habit so I've been doing that for years so all, all, the, all, all I have to do is change my setting on machine not even that complicated but as I, as I say a man of we're creatures of habits uh, I don't know if 5% more or less is going to make that much of a difference. I guess it might make a bit. 
Um, but if you're somebody that knows that losing, they're losing a lot of tension on their um, on their last string before tying the finishing knot, uh, then maybe that might be something to look into. Maybe go up to 20% or so. I guess it all depends on how you string um, and how, that was a Parnell knot, by the way, guys. Uh, like I said, it all depends on how you string, what machine you have, how much experience you have, because you could have exactly the same machine, the same rack, the same strings, and have a very different result between stringers. Right, this racket in itself, um, this this uh, Pure Arrow, I think, is the only one, if I can remember, that comes with this uh, type of grommets. You have to make sure you start on the side where it says, for not start. You have to, you can do, uh, you can, do around the world and whatnot, but this racket's much easier to do a four knot, two piece stringing job as to a one, uh, one knot. You'll, uh, it'll make your life easier and the tension holds better anyway, with four knots always, than two. But um, there you go. So you've got a little gray, I think it's gray, yeah, gray circle, circled around your grommet, telling you where you need to start. So pretty straightforward. If you start on the wrong side, you'll uh, you'll notice within three or four crosses that. The string doesn't sit flush. I don't know if you guys can tell from there. Let me lower the tripod for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Can you guys see? Yeah, I think you can see now. The string must fit in there. The loop must come around there properly. So you therefore need to start on the right side. I will leave the, sh I'm gonna leave the tripod a little bit. Nah, we'll stick to what we know. Let's do that. Maybe a little zoom in, maybe. So that way you guys can see that maybe, there we go. Okay, that looks quite good, I think. A little bit closer for the crosses. And we need to measure seven and a half full lengths of the racket, guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. There you have it, seven and a half. Full lengths of the racket for this 1619 stringing pattern and now we'll have 19 crosses to start with <clears throat> right here we go it doesn't matter how you start if you start over or under your first main string drink it is 13th of march 2024 10:34 a.m london uk time first video of the day um with time i will post i have a whole bunch of unposted videos i seem to be struggling to even upload a lot of them I'm uploading a few a day. I just have phone calls, stringing rackets, family life, you name it. I'm actually starting a uh, UTR tennis circuit, which I started last year and it kind of all went tits up. As they say in the UK, tits up, yep, I know. Funny saying, for, for uh, especially if you're watching somewhere in North America. Um, when I first heard it, I thought, what? But anyway, I think it's a British saying. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I think that feels a bit soft. I'm gonna tighten my clamp a little bit more. That feels good. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be hard to close the clamp, guys. It should be pretty straightforward without applying much pressure on your clamp when it comes to opening and closing it. <clears throat> the, uh, the demand at the moment is outrageous. Here at Pro String, I'm taking most of the workload by myself. Um, which may have to change at some point because I start feeling the stress uh, and expectations of the clients were not behind. We are currently on Monday rackets. It is a Wednesday and I'm still doing Monday rackets. Yes, indeed. So everybody knows that our normal non-express service is three to four working days. So I could perfectly still drop these rackets off tomorrow. Um, this is one of uh, the clubs we string for. They are outsourced to us at Duke's Meadows. Lovely club. Um, there's a golf course, nine hole golf course, uh, driving range, uh, cafe, five indoor, brand new, uh, fantastic indoor courts. 
dry ski slope. Six Pora Flex outdoor Pora Flex outdoor courts, which are amazing. And, uh, and it's a pay and play, no membership required, which is also great. It's a regional tennis center for the LTA. And that's where I'm going to start my UTR tennis circuit again, hopefully very soon. Waiting to hear back from the UTR to give, grant me my 45 day trial. Um, and then I'll uh, start putting that a few tournaments in the book. off the excess string so i am stringing one in front guys one in front as you can see two strings weaved at all times instead of one and then pull the string and another one makes the weave so this next weave it makes it easier which is always a good thing we want easier we don't want more difficult unnecessary <clears throat> Life is already complicated enough. Maybe not for all of you, but yeah, I try to make my life as easy as possible. And you guys should too. An easier weave means quicker time probably as well. And if you're starting out, you want it to be as easy as possible. So definitely starting or stringing one in front. So you guys can see uh, the string is fitting perfectly into the grommet. It's the FSI spin grommets. Babble that seems to use quite a bit on the, uh, at least in the pure drives, not so much in the pure arrows anymore. I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, but I think this is the first time, this is the first model they brought out. I think it used to be called the pure, or the pro drive, the Babylon pro pure drive. Oh, I can't remember, something drive. <clears throat> and then they uh, came up with this one, which just became the pure arrow, and I think it just stuck, so. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I've run through this racket pretty quick, I have to say. Uh, so just FYI, guys, so for your mains, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip one, seven, skip one, eight. And the bottom, I think it's the same. Yeah, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, skip one, seven, skip one, eight. In case that helps you, uh, for you guys uh, who don't know the stringing pattern or just purely starting out your stringing journey. moment no problem if you do that as well All right i don't know if i'm gonna have enough for stringing one in front so i go back to i just try to keep my string wastage down which you guys should too um even if it means not being able to do one in front on the last string which is fine it is the hardest weave anyway the last cross string regardless but even more difficult if you don't do one in front. Oh, 
always pulling your string down, avoiding friction, guys, as you may have seen in my other videos, or just even in this one, even if I haven't mentioned it. <clears throat> I'm just trying to uh, speed things up a bit. Find your nearest main string that will allow you to tie your knot on, <laughs> also known as your anchor string. There you have it guys, your, your racket should pop off the machine pretty easily. If, you're, if, your, machine, if your racket's not coming off uh, your machine easily, that means you are applying too much pressure to the uh, mounting system on the when you're putting your racket on so be very careful with that because you can also warp and put the string uh, put the racket out of shape or deform the racket and it may never go back into its uh, original shape there you guys have it babble up pure arrow 1619 300 grams um with the pro string nemesis in a one two five millimeters thanks for tuning in guys hopefully there was some useful stuff for you there have a great day and happy stringing. See you soon. Bye-bye.